Hey everyone, Sean Clement, Wisdom in Golf, our headquarters here at the Richmond Hill Golf Club. Now, we have many other teachers around the world teaching our stuff, and we're going to start exposing them to you so that you get to hear the same information, but from a different mind, from a slightly different perspective, with different words, but they all mean the same thing. We all know how the human body works. We're all very well versed on that. So our directors of instruction from around the United States and the rest of the world are going to be sending their videos to us and we're going to give them our platform here on YouTube to expose them to you. So here's the introduction. Without further ado, have a look at our friend Richard Rice, who is the director of instruction uh, or head professional at the Ford's Colony Golf Club and Resort in Williamsburg, Virginia. Enjoy. Hi, Richard Rice here, head golf professional at Ford's Colony Country Club in Williamsburg, Virginia. I want to share with you today a little bit about why I chose Wisdom in Golf, uh, not only as a player, but also as a teacher. Um, and what it is, it's going to be a little tip. It's a, it's a swing flaw that I see in almost all of my students. It's something that I personally used to do wrong and it's a swing flaw. What I call it is, is the three-point through swing. And we'll define in just a minute why I like the term through swing as opposed to down swing. All right, so let's get right into it. So the three-point through swing, here it is. So if we take the club all the way up to the top of the backswing, we're gonna call that point A, top of backswing, all right? We're gonna take the club down to impact right here. We're gonna call that point B, impact. We're going to take the club through to full extension or the release to the target and we're going to call that point C and then of course we'd come up into our finish from there. All right, so A, top of backswing, B, impact, C, the release into the finish. All right, now the big flaw here is that most of you think that it's your job to move the club from point A and push downwards into point B into impact. What I'm here to tell you is that point B down here is not your job, all right? What is your job is to move the club from point A through to point C. Point B is taken care of for you by gravity and centripetal force, okay? So let's get a little bit more in depth in how to look at that. And what we're gonna do is the perpetual motion drill. So I'm gonna get the club moving back and through without stopping. And you're going to see just a couple things that I'll explain to you. Alright, so what you're going to notice is two main things. One, my club is brushing through the grass at the same spot every time. Two, there are two very emphatic releases, one over here and one over here where my hands turn over, the club turns over. So watch again, you're going to notice a point here and a point here where there's a very emphatic release. All right, so my main focus in that drill now is to get the club to each release point. I'm not worried about what's going on down here, that's happening all on its own. All right, so how do we apply that to the golf swing? All right, we're gonna take baby steps. We're gonna put the training wheels on. And we're gonna do a nice little awareness drill here. So my job, as we know, is to move the club from point A to point C. All right, so we're gonna go through the prediction process here. I'm gonna predict that if I set up like this and I move the club from point A to point C, that I'm gonna miss the golf ball. All right, that part's easy. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to predict that if I move the club from A to C from here, I will top the golf ball. So I've got the bottom of the club positioned right at the top of the golf ball. All right. I topped it, it went about 20 yards in the air and then hit the ground. All right, perfect top. So the even more fun part here I'm going to lower myself to the ground and I'm going to predict that if I go from point A to point C, A to C, I'm going to make good contact with the ball, take a nice little divot in front of the ball. All right. So again, my focus is on A to C. All right. Now 
I couldn't strike it any better than that. I mean, my focus has nothing to do with down here. I am not applying any downwards force on the golf club. My only sole focus is here to here. Now, before we move on, we've got to really define what point C is. So on that shot, I'm trying to hit a little draw where I want to start it. There's a telephone pole in the distance. It's, it's the pole for the net on the range. And I'm trying to hit about a five yard draw back to our red flag. So I want to start the ball on the telephone pole, draw it back to the red flag. What I'm doing here, point C, becomes my release to the telephone pole, all right? So that's very important that you release to the point at which you would like to start the golf ball, all right? So, again, we predict from here that if I go from point A to C, C being my release to the telephone pole, that I will make good contact with the ball. Again, I can't, I can't hit it any better than that. I could do this all day. All right. So let's recap. A, top of backswing. B, impact. C, release point. Forget from here down to here and just worry about A and C. All right. I don't want to see you applying any downwards force, no pushing, no pulling, no shoving down towards the golf ball. If you're hitting it fat, if you're hitting it thin, if you're shanking it, if you're pushing and pulling it, all of those problems can be caused by this swing flaw. So get out here and work on your awareness drill. All right, work on your prediction process. So I predict here, A to C, that I whiff, that I top, that I hit. All right, if you can go through that drill and get really good at your awareness drills, you're gonna improve your swing dramatically, you're gonna lower your scores, and you're gonna have more fun. All right, so enjoy that.